Ruby Alice and that kiss 22 days after the Women's World Cup final and that kiss from the podium with Jenny Hermoso the Spanish Football Federation President Luis Rubiales resigns he chose to announce it here in London to Piers Morgan I cannot continue my work my father uh, my daughters I spoke with with them they know it's, it's not a question about me and some friends very very close to me uh, and they say to me, Luis, now you have to focus in your dignity and to continue your life because uh, if not, probably you are going to damage people you love and the sport you love and the beat you built with uh, some people a long time ago. Now it's very, very near the resolution next September in one year. Then when someone is not thinking only about himself because I had to support a lot these uh, three weeks but it's uh, more a question of not only me and then an attitude of, an attitude of me can affect third parties very important and in this situation now uh, the more intelligent and the thing I had to do. Sarah Rubiales, he chose to speak to Piers Morgan uncensored on Talk TV about that decision. Martin, I don't know about you, but this seems to go down in history as the most expensive, costly kiss of all time. It certainly cost him, big time. But I don't know where you're at with it, Martin. I mean, he held down an extremely, um, I, I would say, a, 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 an extremely coveted job uh, in, in Spanish football. But it seems it took so long for him to read the room. Um, and now there was even talk that it, it might affect Spain's 2030 World Cup bid. I mean, my, my attitude towards it, the, all of this is quite similar. Look, he shouldn't have done it. End of story. Shouldn't have done it. I couldn't agree more. Absolutely. I, listen, you've just mentioned that you, you mentioned that it was a coveted job. It was, and you try your, you, you'll do everything you can to try and hold on to that there. But the pressure was mounting. It mounted from from almost minute one. Uh, when it became a, a, a big thing. And, uh, I, you know, it, it took him 22 days to resign. It was inevitable that he would have to have done so. And I think we're all pretty surprised that it took so long. I mean, we even had his mother threatening to go on hunger strike because of what was happening to her son, who she thought he was being thoroughly persecuted. Mm. I mean, this was never going to go away for him. He had to do something. Uh, to me, Sam, this was the only course of action he could take. Well, I mean, it is. it was perplexing behaviour because he puts himself in the way of a conversation he doesn't need to be in the way of. I, I do find, I have found from the get-go, that the reaction has been disproportionate to the circumstances. I know I'm not a woman and I know I'm not on the receiving end of challenges in life, but I find that there's something obviously far more behind this than just this. It feels... I hate to use the word agendas because it gets played out so easily, but there seems to be a lot going on in women's football at this moment in time, from the disputes of the women's USA team to the arguments with England's women's team about the finances and the, and the remuneration they're getting to this particular scenario that seems to have started some time ago. You know, they got rid of the entire Spanish women's team and then compounded that particular uh, reaction from those women by going on winning it with a whole new group of players. We hear very different stories coming out from um, different times of this particular journey. And I, and I look at it and go, the reaction has been, the language that's been used, this has been weaponized and turned into other people's agendas. You've had politicians leaping in and turning around and saying sexual aggression and sexual violence. And you look at it, and maybe it's because we're men and we're maybe we're the least qualified to debate this particular subject. You look across the table, I have a daughter, so I don't take these things lightly. I look at it and go, the language that's being used just seems to me to be for the activists and for those that have agendas. Yeah, but if he'd resigned earlier, Simon, this might not have well, blown I, up the I way don't it know, did. I don't know if you should have to resign because you make individual mistakes. I think if there are other things behind the scenes, because what we what we saw was a building narrative of all these other things that were going to be thrown at him and all these other contacts, and he was adamant that he wasn't guilty of these things. And I wanted people, if he were guilty, I wanted him to be taken out for those things. I think in life, if you make a mistake, you make a judgment call, you make a misstep, does that mean the optics in this new, this new dawn of social media and immediate media judgment? We are getting judged in everything we do instantaneously in the court of public opinion. We're not getting judged by facts. I, I actually hoped that this man 
would defend himself. And if he were guilty of all the other things that we're saying that they're throwing allegations against him, those are things that got him. Because I'm tired in society of people being told that this is what's going mm. on. All of a sudden you hear all this background narrative and then they get taken out before they get asked to answer the bigger allegations. And these other allegations either never see the light of day or they don't become relevant. But did it need that? Was an unwanted and very public kiss not oh, enough? The, the, the minute Hermosa uh, said that she didn't consent, he was, in, he was going to be in massive trouble then. And that was it for him. Game and that, over. And that was it. That's I. I, I take Simon's point about mm. about how life is going. I absolutely do. This is, is I don't know the changes that we see taking place in society over the last fifteen twenty years. Absolutely incredible. But uh, unless you're able to change it, you're not going to do this here. But this is the we just knew. We knew what the outcome was going to be. Yeah. Eventually, he was going to have to resign. We've almost forgotten the fact that Spain's women won the World Cup. Um, I haven't forgotten that. Mm. And, and I it's, think, so, it's totally overshadowed. Well, that's it, because people want it to be overshadowed because it's a great news story. And that's because people that like this particular story, because it gives A, Conor Vinci's, or B, people that, that, ha that want certain voices, that believe that certain aspects of football are beset with misogyny, or that women aren't being treated fairly. Now, there may be some truth in some of those allegations, but I would like these allegations, because what we saw was an inappropriate set of behaviour. And then as a result of that, that inappropriate set of behaviour got escalated into every conceivable event that this man has ever done. And all these allegations, we had Samra Hunter coming on here saying, this court is doing this, this court's doing that, this court's doing the other. And I, for one, wanted this man to be guilty of something really substantial to be taken out, rather than a misjudged sort of behaviour, probably in the back of exuberance. But is Martin not right, Simon? As soon as it became apparent that the case wasn't consensual... Game over but for we him. Seem, we seem to have very conflicting stories, and I, and I wonder how quickly people get gotten to. Mm. I wonder how people get words in their ears about the nature of other mm. people's agendas, because there seems to be very different stories coming out of it, mm. very different reactions, um, very different sets of circumstances from the player in, initially. But when it boils down to it, was it inappropriate or not, the moment... Well, the kiss? If, 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 inappropriate or not? Well, 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 hang on, let me answer the question. If he's saying that it was consensual and she's saying it wasn't, why does one person get believed and another person doesn't? Why does one person not get an opportunity to put his best foot forward and to advance himself in a situation rather than have the narrative build up and build up and build up? Now, he may well be the most despicable man that God ever put breath into, but I'd like to have seen that tested. I'd like to have seen it put to the sword because I get tired of this never-ending building up of, 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 of circumstance. I don't, you know, I want women's football to progress. I want women to be paid commensurate with the commercial value of the game. I want all of these things. I want equal footings. But what I don't like is I don't like agendas. I don't like people that are activists that are serving out their particular brand of what they think is going on and weaponizing and using people to do it. And what we seem to have heard, and I'm disappointed because I think it's a great thing, it's a great get for Piers Morgan to have him on his, have him on his show and I understand why Piers Morgan's got him but I would like to see him land in spaces like this where you can have proper sports orientated discussion with this fellow about what exactly has gone on, why are people building up war, what has gone on behind this man's career to build him to such a point that there seems to be so many people that are queuing up to take him down and to my mind, I, you know if, if we're all going to walk through life, Jim and I don't care if this is a particularly unpolitically correct thing to say with every single time we misstep being the ultimate consequence then I tell you what, a few of us are going to have problems in our life and those that are pointing the finger are going to have problems in their lives as well because most of the time, those people that are pointing at you have got equally as many skeletons in their closets. Well, it was a costly kiss for Ruby Alice and now he's out of a job. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.